In this video, let's learn regarding system metrogram. It is related to the micturation. As we have already studied in the video on micturation reflex, that micturation is a spinal reflex which is either facilitated or inhibited by the higher centers which are present in the cerebral cortex and the pons. Now in the bladder, there is a muscle and that muscle is called as the detrusor muscle. It is a smooth muscle and this muscle has the property of plasticity whenever the muscle is stretched. Plasticity means adaptability. Now we can understand this property of the bladder muscle which is called as detrusor with the help of the cystometrogram. So what is it that we are supposed to write in our exams? First and foremost thing is that we should write that cystometrogram is the relationship between the intravesical pressure and the intravesical volume. Intravesical means the pressure which is present inside the urinary bladder or the volume which is present inside the urinary bladder. Now the intravesical pressure is given by centimeters of water and the intravesical volume is given in milliliters. Now when we plot this curve or the graph we are going to get three parts. The first part is labeled as 1a, the second part is 1b and the third part is 2. Now what is happening in the first part here is that as the intravesical volume increases to roughly about 50 ml there is also a rise in the pressure. This is what is happening with the rise in the volume there is a rise in the pressure. But what is happening with the second part which is the 1b part is that as the volume increases from 50 to almost 400 ml there is no increase in the pressure and this is the part which explains the property of the muscle detrusor that is the plasticity and once the volume intravesical volume has crossed 400 ml there is a sudden increase in the pressure which is given by the third part of the curve which is labeled as 2. So here we have to explain as to why there is no increase in the pressure despite an increase in the intravesical volume. Now this can be explained with the help of law place law. Okay, law place law. So what is this law place law? Law place law says that the pressure in a spherical viscous like the urinary bladder is equal to 2t divided by r that means the pressure is directly proportional to the tension that is if the tension in the wall is increasing the pressure is also going to increase and the pressure is inversely proportional to the radius now what happens in this part that is in the 1b part is that the tension is increasing as the bladder is filling now along with that there is also increase in the radius. So when both the numerator and the denominator is going to increase the pressure will be constant. So this is the explanation for this flat part of the system metrogram which is extremely important for filling of the bladder. Now as soon as the volume reaches 400 ml the pressure is going to suddenly increase and this increase in the pressure is extremely important for micturation to occur. This is what we must write for the cystometrogram. Thank you.